when I first started playing War Thunder, the highest thing you could ever get was the mouse, I think a T54, IS4M, and the M103, but that was added a little bit later, I believe. If if you said, hey, in like three years, dude, the M1A1 Abrams is going to be in War Thunder, maybe four years. Time flies when you're having fun. Get it? You guys are the best. Thanks for hanging out today. Hope you guys are having a good day. We'll start with the gun. It's a big difference from the other Abrams that we have played in game. 105 millimeter, 105 millimeter, 120 millimeter. This one's hung well. And it just, it, it looks so much better on the tank than these measly 105 millimeters. I mean, just, just the diameter of the barrel doesn't fit the turret. This one, you know, you get a little bit, a little bit more mustard with your sandwich. And we're going to go over it together, but on the dev server, America has the best round in the game. At least APFSDS. 493 millimeters at zero degrees. At 30 degrees, 427 millimeters. Remember that number, 427, because we need to focus, you know, zero degrees is nice, but if there's an angled target you're shooting at, such as like a T64, well, um, you're going to want that 30 de degree performance, even though it can't even pen it, but still, it just has the more power, more penetration behind it. 427. Let's go down Germany. Okay, we got the L44. L44, doesn't matter what we choose. 340. Compared to what? 427 was the American one. 355. Joke. USSR. T80, top BR, 10.0. 427, 414, but nope, not better than America. Got the new, got the new Challenger 2. Ugh. Decent round, but no, not 427. Japanese with the DM30, the JM33. Getting close, but no cigar. The new Italian 9.7, good round, but not close, or not it. The French AMX 40 that had the best round for a couple days, 422. So this is the second best 30 degree round in the game. This is such a strong gun. Now this is still the depth server, things can change, but right now from the 30 degree performance, the American 120 millimeter M256 Cannon is the best cannon in the game, not only for its default penetration, but its angled penetration as well. 493 at zero degrees, 10 meters away. Now let's go over armor. Let's see if anything's changed from the different M1 uh, Abrams series. Armor, we'll use, we'll use an M1A1 to test and with a M829 shot. So this can protect against 413. Let's just get it lined up with this so we so, so we never mess up. Okay, 416 right here. Okay. M IPM1 420, so kind of the same-ish, maybe some addition of uh, some heat protection involved there. And finally the M1A1 versus the M1A1 shot. Yeah, kind of is the same, you know, sure stuff can change a little bit. It's pretty much the same armor. Now, I got to be careful with that because it doesn't have the same armor as the IPM one. The IPM one has one hell, oh, sorry, of heat protection. Yeah. It does not want to go through that at all. Now, is there more heat protection in the default Abrams? Sorry about how... Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, there is more... Did I do the first one right? I feel like I'm in a weird area. No, look at that. What a strong turret against heat. Yeah, this does not have good heat protection compared to the other M1 Abrams all over the turret. It's only around 600 and stuff. I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but this has the worst heat protection out of all of them. 
Now, even if you do get penetrated, you have the M1 Abrams syndrome, which either take out the gun and the Abrams gets away, either take out the driver and the Abrams shoots and kills you, or you take out the engine, the Abrams shoots and kills you. That's one of the best things about playing the Abrams. It's so darn spacious. So much empty space in this tank. It's so funny. Here, let, let's just see what this sign says. It's so funny watching the Russians try to design or like curling club. Actually, I give them an A plus for that one. That's pretty cool. That's unique. It's not like burger, tire, fishing tackle, goods, drinks, sandwich. Who is auto? I, actually, this one's kind of accurate. Wow, look at this. This is like the first. That's so beautiful. Oh, I got some Buicks over here. Actually, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, hey, uh, I need to go play, play play War Thunder. Man, choppers are going to have a ball in this. What a neat little city. Okay, we got a potential tank over here to our left. I, I'm actually more interested in exploring this map. We got a five ton right there. Man, this is what I like to see. Now, I don't really know how this map's going to play out when it hits the live server, but like... I... I want to see more of these maps in the game. More urban with the mix of a little bit of a countryside like this. I'm just heading out in the open, not playing smart at all, but it is the dev server. Got a beefy tank over here. I think you just pop smoke. And let's see if he can penetrate me. Wow. That was a one shot. Weak spot. Three crew members like that. You got an Abrams with just a better gun. That's the way I would treat it. And, and with a little bit less heat protection. Oh, we do have an enemy over here. He should maybe open up in a second or two to get this damn tree out of the way. He should be just over this area. Oh, there's two. Oh, wow, that, that, that sounded really good, didn't it? Okay, track commander. Hello, comrade! It has a little bit of like a sis at, like, like, like it, here, look. Listen, it's like, tss. I don't know. What, what's that sound? The breach opening or something? Okay, we got to go cap. I really do hope they add New York City or Moscow or London. That would be so neat, wouldn't it? Or Chicago. And the cool thing is that there's a lot of caddy corners. So what that means is that if I want to push up far, I'll have like, Buildings blocking my my advancement. Okay, we got need to go get Bravo. Oh, this is neat. Wanna look right? ESS tank. There's an AI. The ESS is out, blocking my rear. Fish tackle, fish tackle, 20. God, having a sail everywhere, cafe. That's pretty accurate. I got a T-80 pushing up. Whoa. Now I think he just shot though. I'm gonna face hug. Wow. I'm kind of confused on two things. One, why was I trying to shoot weak spot on a tank that I could easily penetrate anywhere on the cheeks? 
And two, why when you shoot turret ring, the turret ring isn't damaged? Ooh, very small ammo. Ammunition! Oh, oh shh. guys, that 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 actually just bounced. What is that lower plate? Okay, we got some more tanks to our left. We're reloaded, ready to go. Clear front, tons of glare. We're actually, we're gonna have to go back to our friends at Charlie. I mean, with this round and that, that angled penetration, you can, you can pretty much shoot anywhere you want. Except the AMX 40's lower plate. Oof. Okay, friendlies, friendlies above us. We're capping. I'm getting lucky. Five point eight second reload compared to five, which I will definitely take for this the, the buff and penetration. Whoa, whoa! Did he just drop? Dang, he dropped ESS as he was going in. Next target. The enemy has most of the strategic zones. <laughs> Didn't see me, did you? The enemy has been destroyed. Ah, damn it! Oh no! Look, look! He took out my breach and everything. Pop smoke. Well done. Shot breach or... Oh no, I got memed. I really should have shot the, uh, <laughs> the T-80 first, but... Yeah, this map's going to be a fun one. It's going to be fun going down. Oh, guys. We'll spot this tank out for our team. All right, we got the bleed. Just going to do a little bit of a diving bomb run. I thought I had, um, <clears throat> thought I had delays on. This is the dev server, though. We're, we're probably going to die really quick here, but at the same time, I want to... Oh, there's, there's a tank right here. I want to land on a building, too. Oh, oh, God, oh. What the, what the hell? What is that? Oh, it's the AI just about to snipe me. Okay, start slowing down here. Nice, pull it around. Don't go too much in their territory. Oh, nice. This is going to be a great chopper map. They're, tr about, they're trying to cap it again. Let's go investigate. I wish your helicopter could blow the, uh, the smoke away. Blasting his ERA up. Wow, this is this is so awesome, guys. Beautiful. Don't knock any balls. Oh, 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 okay, I don't I don't need that. Wow. 
Wow. Sweet hitbox, though. You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll actually keep the engines online just in case we have to do something. Beautiful, beautiful into the game. <laughs> That's how we all say thank you in War Thunder. Fellas, hope you have enjoyed this video today. Uh, the, the, the M1A1 is going to be a fantastic tank. Gosh, man, if only. Just really is. Going to have so much. It's just going to be able to lob shells across the map and still penetrate you. Maybe not the uh, T80 series or the, I mean, the T64. Uh, T-72A and those kind of tanks might be able to deal with them a little bit, but yeah, they're, they're, they're kind of strong. Fellas, have a great day. See you tomorrow. Peace out.